My name's Hazel, and I'm going to read you one of my very favourite stories from the Bible. It happened at the end of the day. It had been a long, hot day, and Jesus had been helping lots and lots of people. Everyone was very hot and tired. Let's go across the lake in the boat. It will be cooler there, said Jesus. So Jesus and his friends piled into the boat and left the crowds of people at the shore and set out. Jesus was so tired that as soon as he got into the boat, he lay down and fell fast asleep. It was a lovely evening. A gentle breeze rustled the sails and the friends were chattering happily. Everything was ready for a nice, quiet sail. And there's a picture of the little boat and Jesus already asleep. They were only about halfway across the lake when suddenly, out of nowhere, whirling winds swept across the lake, fierce and strong like a hurricane. A blinding flash of lightning lit up the sky. Thunder roared right overhead. The storm blew the water into towering waves that hurled the little boat up, up, and then sent it hurtling and crashing down, down. The fishing boat was blown and buffeted and tossed and turned back and forth and up and down. And in the middle of the storm, Jesus went on sleeping. Now Jesus' friends were fishermen. They'd been fishing all their lives on that lake and they'd never once seen it as bad as that. No matter how hard they struggled with the sail and with the ropes, nothing seemed to work. They were beginning to feel very, very frightened. Help! they screamed. Wake up! Quick, Jesus! Quick! There they are shouting help. Jesus still asleep at that stage. Rescue us! Save us! they cried. Don't you care? Of course Jesus cared. This was the reason he'd come, to rescue them and save them. Jesus woke up, stood up in the front of the boat and spoke to the storm. Hush, he said. Be still. And the strangest thing happened. The wind and the wave recognised his voice. They'd heard it before, of course. It was the same voice that had made them in the very beginning. They listened to Jesus and did what he said. Immediately the wind stopped, the water calmed down, and it glittered in the moonlight and lapped quietly against the side of the boat, as if nothing had happened. There was a deep stillness and a great quiet all around. Jesus turned to his friends. Why were you afraid, he said. Did you forget who I am? Did you believe your fears instead of me? Jesus' friends were quiet. What kind of man is this, they asked themselves. Even the wind and the waves obey him. They didn't yet understand that Jesus was the Son of God. They had been so afraid. They had only seen the big waves. They'd forgotten that if Jesus was with them in the boat, they had nothing to be frightened of. Isn't that an amazing story? So let's talk to Jesus now together. Thank you, Jesus, for this wonderful story. Help us to remember that because you are always with us, there is nothing to be afraid of, no matter how small our boat or how big the storm. Amen. So good night and sleep well. <laughs>